once you have learned how to format cells, you'll find that you often use them to give information. So for example, we've got some projected costs and actual costs, and the difference is either positive or negative. So here we're saying we actually spent 51, we thought it would be 50, that is bad, negative one. So you may be tempted to go and say, okay, let me highlight that one, red, and then there's another negative here, red, another negative here, red. The problem with this method is that when next month this changes, and so now suddenly that's actually 49, we've now actually improved by one, but it's still red. I'm just gonna undo. So that's, and sorry, just remove all the formatting here. So that's where there's an option called conditional formatting. And what that is, is it's exactly what it says. It says it Excel will format a cell based on some condition. So just some of the nice simple ones. Under Home, you'll see you've got an option called Conditional Formatting. There's a whole bunch of options which we cover in later courses. But we're just going to show you a couple of them. These are little wizards, so you'll see there's an option here called Highlight Cell Rules. And you'll see you can say these cells, what must happen to their formatting if they are greater than, or less than, or between. So in this case here, We've got a simple rule, if it's bigger than zero, it's gonna be, let's make it green. If it's less than zero, red. So you highlight, you've highlighted the cells, you go here, and when you click on greater than, Excel firstly guesses what you want. So just be careful, it's guessing is not always that good. So I'm gonna say no, the format cells, so format cells that are greater than, I'm gonna type in my zero, You'll see Excel then guesses the format you want to use. So you'll see there's a couple of options. But I'm going to go to Custom Format. And what you'll see is that the options you have are all the options we've used to format cells before. So do you want to change the font? The no, Sorry, the number. Do you want to change the font? Do you want to make it go strike through? Do you want to mess around with the borders? And the most common one, do you want to change the fill? So remember what we said here? format cells that are greater than zero. That's a good thing, so I'm gonna make them turn green. When I say okay, you'll see they automatically turn green, and when I say okay, we've applied our first level of conditional formatting. If you now want them to turn red, so at the moment all these cells are looking at each other, and if they, will, if they turn positive, they will turn green. So if I go here and change that to 49, because that's a positive number now, it turns green. However, we want these to turn red. So again, you highlight all the cells. And don't be tempted now to select the cells that you think are red at the moment. Because remember, these might change, so we highlight them all. We go to Home again, Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cell Rules. And now we're going to use the Less Than option. Again, Excel is guessed, but I'm going to say it's less than zero. If it's less than zero, Excel has chosen quite a nice option, light red fill with dark red text. You'll see there's light red fill. There's a whole bunch of options that Excel has come up with. But again, we go to custom format. I'm gonna fill it with red. And when I say okay, you'll see it's done it. So now any cell that's less than zero will give us red. Bigger than zero gives us green. And notice because of the way we set it up, we didn't tell it what must happen if it is zero. So what you'd need to do then is decide how that works. So although this is covered in a later course, just to show you how this would work, again, I've highlighted those cells. When I go to conditional formatting, now because I've put those two on and I wanna make a slight change to it, I won't use any of the wizards. Right at the bottom here, there's something called manage rules. And when I click on it, you'll see it says we've got the two rules. So the cell value is less than zero, be red. Cell value is bigger than zero, be green. So for zeros, we're gonna say actually, if it's bigger than or equal to zero, turn green. So I can click on this. When I say edit rule, you'll see it's quite explicit. So this is how it came up with the rule. Accessing it through here, just is some wizards of useful common ones, but here's very specific. Format only cells with the cell value, 
and you'll see there's a couple of options there is greater than but we're going to look for one called is greater than or equal to the zero is still fine the color is still fine when I say OK and I apply it you'll now see these colors are not you going and manually deciding what to do these colors will automatically change so if next month the actual cost of supplies was actually 10 which means that we were way over the projected cost when I click enter it will automatically turn red and it just makes it a lot easier to actually see what's happening in your spreadsheet without it having to go through all the manual work to adjust it the way the conditional formatting has been set up it can be a complex tool but Microsoft have set it up in such a way that this here is a wizard and there's a whole bunch of options you can choose so I'm just going to highlight those just so we can have something to apply to but notice that in the highlight cell rules we've already played with greater than less than and between does what it says but notice that you can do equals to and if I click equals to you'll see it's very explanatory what do you want it equals to? What is the color? You'll see there's a whole section of top and bottom rules. So do you want to see, for example, the top 10 items? When you click on it, again, it's very specific. What number do you want? So I'm going to say, actually, give me only the top three items. What color do you want it to be? So let's make it red. So notice that out of those, only those three items, those are the top three amounts. Just going to cancel. If I go back to the top and bottom rules, top 10%, bottom 10 items, above average and below average. So if I choose that, Excel just wants to know what color you want to use. And when I say OK, what it's doing is going here, looking at those cells, working out an average. So you'll see the average here is 66. And anything that's above that 66 is colored. If I want to remove any conditional formatting, there's a clear rules, and I say clear rules from selected cells. You'll see as well, we've got a whole bunch of arc icons or data bars and color scales. So these are a little bit more complex, covered in intermediate to advanced courses. But just to show you how they work, if I put on my data bars, and I go there and I put it on, notice that little bars are shown here, and because that's such a big number, it dominates all of these but let's change that to a smaller number maybe let's make it 50 and notice when I click enter all the other bars now adjust so it's a lot easier to see where the big items are and where the small items are I'm just going to highlight that again let's just remove that you've then got something called color scales and what this is doing is it's going to change the colors of the cells. It's going to go from that green to that red through yellow from highest to lowest. So when I click on it, you'll notice that the 50s are all the greens, with the 51 being the darkest. And then as it drops, so the 35s are in a yellowy color, all the way to the darkest red, which is the 5. You can change those around and go other ways and there are a whole variety of colors you can use. You also have the ability to put on icons. I just want to clear these rules first. And you'll see here you've got a whole selection of icons. You've got robots, you've got arrows, you've got milestones, you've got cell phone batteries. So all of these things I can click on. For example, I'll click on that one. The only thing you've got to be careful here is what how Excel determines what is a upwards green and what is a downwards red and that's something that should be covered separately for now it's just useful to know that conditional formatting is just a way that allows you to format in your desired color but make it conditional and Excel has made sure that there are a lot of wizards which means that it's extremely easy to use